thank God. I thought you might have gone home to bed. I've been searching Manchester all night. What are you doing here? You called me? Yeah, I wanted a lift. You hung up? My phone ran out of credit. Don't have any money. All savings left. How'd you find me? With effort. And asking people. I went to your club. Met your friends. They said you got angry with them. They didn't know why. When I went home today, it wasn't for clothes. I thought there might be some change in the sofa. But I'd forgotten. I hadn't thought that it'd still be there on the carpet. What do you mean? About ten minutes before it happened, she called me. She was like, Maya. Then she called me again and she was angry. I'd always ignore it because it just meant that she was drunk and wanted someone to shout at. She blamed me for everything. I know. Then about ten minutes later, there was this screaming. But I still didn't go out. Just stayed in my room, put my headphones on. Then the screaming stopped. Right. Suddenly. That's when I went to go see. Maya, she was sat there on the floor staring at me. Blood everywhere. The smashed glass. She cut her arm maybe twice. And she saw me. And she cut her arm again. Just looking at me. I got my phone and called the ambulance. They were amazed by how calm I was. She's ill. She's feeling what she's feeling and she hates me. Yeah, she's ill. You don't have an excuse. What do you... I don't hate you. Then why have you been so fucking horrible? You could have asked me for money. Could have offered. I just, I didn't think that, that you'd... Uh, just, I don't mean to be... <sighs> I've got problems of my own, but I know. I know I'm the grown-up. You have to promise me. What? Whatever happens, whatever I do, you'll be there to look after me. To fucking love me because I don't have anyone else. Literally no one. I might be 16, but that's still a child. So you have to promise me from now on I come first. Jesus, what are you staring at? Is a simple. I promise. your birthday.